back to another video. I'm sorry for the dishwasher noise in the background. We forgot to run that last night, but I thought I would do a shorter video today for you guys and do a what I ate today. I am on Optivia. It's how I've lost over 60 pounds. And I haven't done one of these in a few weeks at least. So anyway, I'm starting my morning with some black coffee and a cranberry honey nut granola bar. So I eat five fuelings a day. They're all different things from shakes, bars, uh, biscuits, crunchy things, all kinds of stuff. Um, but I like to start usually with a bar. So this is fueling number one and my coffee and I will just carry you guys with me today and I'll show you everything I eat and drink. I want to show you guys, I am drinking my water this morning too. I have my coffee, but I'm also trying to get several of these 40 ounce bottles down as well. Okay, so I try to eat my fuelings every two and a half to three hours is how I space them out. Um, normally I don't have like these until the afternoon. Like I like my little afternoon crunchy salty snack, but I was just feeling it. I was just feeling it. So fueling number two is going to be these honey mustard and onion sticks. They're kind of like pretzel sticks. They're really good. I refilled my water. So this is fueling number two. This just actually worked out so great. I was not going to do this because this box was scheduled to be delivered tomorrow. However, I feel like it's perfect to do a little haul because I'm filming a What I Ate Today video. So if you guys want to see a haul, say, if not, I'll put the timestamps down below where you can fast forward. Nate's helping me. <laughs> They're very excited about this package. I'm like, it's nothing exciting for y'all. Um, I didn't do as big of an order as I normally do because we still have... <laughs> we've gotten a couple of boxes closer together so we have a, a little bit of a stock right now but we were out of some stuff so it is a decent size just not maybe as big as it normally is um so we got a chocolate shake and a vanilla shake those both for david and i'm sorry about the noise in the background the kids are playing um he puts these in his coffee every morning we were almost out of bars so we had to do a bar stock up here is our favorite, so the Caramel Delight, Campfire S'mores, Creamy Double Peanut Butter Crisp. These are my favorite peanut butter chocolate chip bar. I normally order two. I only ordered one this time, so I may regret that. Um, that's all the bars. Chocolate pudding, that's a mess for my husband. Why are you so loud? Chocolate chip cookie cake mix. This is my favorite. I totally got two boxes of those. I have been wanting one every single night. I love those. And then I only got one of these, the caramel macchiato shake. We still have some, but I may regret. <laughs> I may regret only ordering one because uh, I love having those just about every day. I only got one mashed potato because we still have some sour cream and chive. Okay, then I got the honey mustard and onion sticks and the cinnamon sticks, cinnamon sugar sticks, and then this is so exciting, they have a new cruncher. So the barbecue and the cheddar cruncher have been out of stock for a little while and I've been so sad, but look at these, cheese pizza crunchers. Maybe we should do a taste test in this video. Um, stay tuned. I'll do the, a taste test later on these cheese pizza crunchers. We got two boxes of these because I have been missing the crunchers and I'm hoping that I like them. So that is it. I'm going to go put all this stuff away, but I wanted to show you guys our haul. I know I said that was it, but Timu came at the same time as the Optivia box and I don't want to keep all this out for tomorrow's vlog and I thought you guys might like to see. So timestamps are down below if you want to skip over this, but very quickly. I did the Timu order mainly because David had a cup that we had gotten from Walmart, like a Stanley type cup, and it broke, and he asked me to find another one in red. So I found this one on Timu for like 10 bucks. Um, so that's for him. And then we got this, uh, of course, I can't just order that. I had to, had they always get me with stuff. I saw this Roku remote case and we've been wanting to get one for Nate because we have one in the living room and it glows in the dark and it's just helpful when he drops it and stuff. So I got him that. I got Lucy this really cute. I hope she likes it. It's kind of, it's kind of loud. <laughs> I got her this, I got it a size or two bigger because it, 
I don't know. I just thought it'd be fun to have like an oversized kind of feel as you can kind of wear it for multiple years, maybe. Created with purpose, Proverbs 16, 4. I thought it was really cute. And then these are our favorite pajamas for Mark. I think this is his fourth pair. He has milk and cookies. He has a car one. He has a, what's the other one? I can't remember what the other one is. Anyway, he has several pairs of these and um, they are great. They're very lightweight. They're very soft. They wash up great. They're always less than like $5. And I saw they had another print, which were the crayons ones. So I went ahead and got them. And then this was also less than $5 a shirt. And I thought this would be cute for him starting preschool. Just trying to get, you know, I always try to look for cute clothes here and there. And um, all of this was like 20 bucks from Timu. So there you go. We are going to do the taste test of the cheese pizza crunchers. So I went ahead and opened the bag. Um, so I didn't have to try to fiddle with that on camera. And the first thing I noticed, they don't really smell like much. The first thing I noticed is that they are hollow. Like they have a little hole in there, which is definitely new. The crunchers didn't used to have that. So let's try Mm. They have a different texture as well. I'm not really getting, whoa. Sorry guys. Hmm. I'm not really getting cheese pizza. I, I definitely feel the cheese flavor. Not a ton of flavor. I don't like them as much as the barbecue ones that they took away. Hopefully those come back, but they're, they're good. Just nothing like I was hoping for, like the extreme cheesy pizza taste. No. Tastes like a cheese cracker, sort of. But there is quite a few of them in a bag, which I do like about the Crunchers. So, I mean, I'll definitely order them again. I just want the barbecue ones back. That's my wish. Okay, guys, so for fueling number four, I'm going to have this caramel caramel macchiato shake. I like to make these into lattes, um, so I'll do them either hot or cold. I'm feeling hot today. I'm feeling like a hot latte. <laughs> so, um, I'm actually cold. That's why I've got this uh, hoodie on. But um, I'm going to heat up. Like I froth this up, I'll mix it up with some water, then I'll froth it with my milk frother and get it all nice and warm and frothy. And then I'll add it to a couple shots of espresso. So I will show you guys that once I get it made. Nate's watching a number of blocks in here, but here it is, caramel macchiato shake with some espresso. And I put a little bit of this salted caramel Jordan skinny sauce. It's zero everything. So good. I'm going to enjoy this. All right, here is my lean and green. I had a crustless pizza and a side of green beans, which is so delicious. So on the crustless pizza is ricotta cheese, marinara sauce, um, mozzarella cheese, turkey meatballs, and turkey pepperoni. And you bake it just like a pizza, just without the crust. And then green beans. And then my last feeling of the day, I had a brownie. I like to under bake it slightly or under microwave it slightly. Top it with a little bit of this double fudge hot uh, fudge sauce or double fudge sauce. And I also put a little bit of sea salt on the brownie. And then I top it with some whipped cream. And this is like a delicious hot fudge cake. It is one of my favorite ways to end out my day. You still have your sweet treat and still be on track. That's all for today. And that's all that I had today. So thank you guys for watching. Um, like I said, I have been on the Optivia 5-in-1 active plan for the last, man, nine months or so. I've lost over 60 pounds, closer to 65 pounds, and it has changed my life. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down below or send me an email. I would love to connect with you. I am a coach with Optivia and um, I love helping out my clients learn 
how to lose weight just like I have. But I love you guys. If you liked today's video and you want to see more like it, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. That way I know. Definitely leave me a comment and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank you.